Hi there! Thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and boy look at this Louis Jordan from 1951. Today I'm going to show you two-thirds of a great poster, not a whole great poster. I'm sorry but it's all that I have. Oh it's sort of heartbreaking but if you've seen my video blog before and some of the other shoots I have some trunks on there which is where the big center color portion is intact and all the white around it was trimmed. Well, this poster is sort of a unique, different kind of disfigured, if you will. Uh, the venue information is intact. You can see that white area up there. And as you can see, the information's there. The Mosque Ballroom in Richmond, Virginia. And adult tickets were $1.75 in advance and $2 at the door and so on and so forth. And, you know, um, and it's, by the way, as you can see, Halloween night in 1951, October 31st. So, you know, all of that's great to have, but um, look at the bottom. It's just, yikes! It's, it's missing from here down. As I said, it's only two-thirds of the poster. And what you don't see, I can actually show you, because I do have a photograph of a fully intact one. Granted, nothing filled in in the venue information, but look at that. That's what it would look like if the bottom were all there. So what you don't see there in that big red stripe, it says full-size, 14-piece band, and there's lots more colorful wording down below. Three or more photos of Louis Jordan himself, including um, his entire 14-piece band, actually, and a couple of more song titles, including Fat Sam from Birmingham. So, but, uh, you know, when I get, I'd rather say when rather than if, so when I get a full, complete copy of this poster in, I will, uh, you know, I'll, re I'll redo the blog and I'll show you the entire poster and be able to zoom in, you know. I, I hope you're able to see before when I zoomed a little bit just all the fun detail, all the fun this poster was, the colorfulness and the song titles and Louis wearing sombreros and just, you know, uh, this, it really reflects his stage act though. He really was that much fun on stage and in his records, if you know his records. So, so how did this thing get so, you know, do I know the story behind it? How did he get so maimed? Actually, I do know how that happened. It was found inside the walls of a old building at either a demolition site or a construction site. And I guess sometimes they're the same thing. Old walls were being torn down and this was found under several layers of plaster. So it was actually probably up on a wall to sell tickets back in 1951 and remained there and just got plastered over. So isn't, isn't that amazing that this remained entombed, if you will, sandwiched between layers of wall plaster for decades before it was found. So as a result, as you can see, especially along the top line there, it's just covered with all kinds of dripping paint, adhesive materials, and, and all manners of construction stuff. And there at the bottom you can see there's, you know, dripping paint. And it's fragile along the edge here and everything. But, you know, that's one thing about old vintage concert posters. They were advertising pieces that were totally disrespected back then. And that's why they're fun to find and collect modern day. And sometimes you just have to take whatever condition you can get. So... Anyway, a masterpiece poster from Louis Jordan. Again, I hope to return, uh, especially if you're kind enough to point out an intact one and show you a video of an entire one. But uh, it's just a beautiful piece, so I had to share it. So <laughs> I hope you had more than two-thirds of a good time. I did. So <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.